when preparing this file for uh, PDF export, what we're going to do is going to go to InDesign. We're going to go to File. We're going to go to Adobe PDF Presets. I would use Press Quality. When we use Press Quality, so I'm going to save it. Click Save. Um, notice that I'm saving it back into my project folder. Let's make it easy to find. We have a two page spread. So I'm going to turn on spreads. You want to check view PDF after exporting, in which case it is going to show you the PDF after it's made it. So you can make sure that it's correct. I'm also going to go to marks and bleeds. I'm going to turn on crop marks. And I'm going to go down and use document bleed settings. You'll notice that it is 0.125 IN, which is the same as the bleeds that we originally set up. I'm going to click export. It warns us that there's overset text. There is no requirement that you get all of your text from your design um, on your document. So this is an okay thing for this project. But in reality, if you're really doing a magazine, that your article would then extend over several pages and you would wanna make sure that you did not get this warning because that would create um, perhaps incomplete text. Um, an example would be if this box had gotten slightly smaller and not, not all of my caption would show, then I would get an overset text warning. And that's a generally a bad thing, but in this case, it is an okay thing. Click OK. You'll get a warning that it's working. And then the PDF shows up and you'll see your entire document. Plus you will see the crop marks and you will see that in this case, the, uh, the color background here bleeds over the edge of the crop marks. And the crop marks would be where you would trim this piece off. Um, where the printer would trim this piece off. 